Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Sean. welcome back to another video. So today, I'm bringing- why am I in my uniform? Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Sean. welcome back to another video. So today, I'm going to be testing out the control freaks that I brought. So, I want to know if any of you guys have control freaks. So that is the daily comment for today. I asked that in my vlog, but I know some of you won't be watching the vlogs. So, let me know if you've got any sort of special gaming equipment such as a control freak or a scuff. So these ones, as you can see by this quick video, are Modern Warfare Remastered, so I thought it'd be appropriate to go on Modern Warfare Remastered. So I am going to play a game without them and this is going to feel horrible because I've been using them. Oh my god. I'm going to play a game of TDM and see how I do. Then I'm going to stay in the same lobby and put the control freaks on and see how I do. We got wet work. That's actually quite a good map to start us off. If I get it right. I mean, I, I haven't really played it much. But honestly, I just want to thank you so much for the support on my vlogs. It is crazy. It's so good, honestly, that you guys love them. I'm I'm not just doing them for you, though. I don't want you to think I'm, I'm only doing vlogs to, like, you know, show off my daily life to you. But there is also, like, a personal reason that I'm doing the vlogs, which I'll probably end up saying um, in another vlog, maybe. So keep updated. Let's get right into the game. It's not as weird playing without them as it was yesterday because obviously this is the first time I've played today uh, but yesterday like I'd just been using them then I took them off and honestly the f they feel so short when you take them off my first shot is a hit marker nice freaking hit mark but yesterday I did some 1v1s now Jay my friend obviously you guys might know him from my streams or maybe even previous videos I 1v1 Jay and he didn't really know the real reason like I just I wanted to test out my control freaks and like see how I played with and without them on a real like you know a real test so obviously if, if he knew he could have affected how he played but I, I went ahead and played with and then without and then with and then without again four times and believe it or not, the times I had the control freaks on, I actually won. So I'm just saying, I did a little test and it it proved my hypothesis, if you like, uh, that control freaks really do help how you play. So I'm not doing too bad at the moment. Three and... Oh God, yes I am. Three and five, that's pretty bad. Um, but... I'm hoping I can do better with the control freaks, obvious. So hard to see on this map. There's so much going on, like the lightning and... Oh dear. There you go. Oh, there's another guy. That was a nice quick three kills. Oh, if I got him, there was more. But what I believe, like, the control freaks help me personally with, you can make, like, minuscule adjustments when sniping. So let's say if you're drag scoping, like you don't, you might over drag without them. But what I found when using them is I can drag like e precisely, like so precise with the control freaks because there's an increased uh, range of movement. So you can be so precise when quick scoping. Whereas with no control freaks, you kind of have to get it right. Like there, I'm missing a bunch of quick scopes. I'm not saying I would have hit that with the control freaks, but I'm hoping that possibly in a similar situation I would have been better off with the control freaks. I reckon I can hit a clip, you know, there's actually so many people on this map. It's a pretty small map and like, the clip opportunities are here at the moment. Alright, so this is a situation where a control freaks would help me, because trying to get a head glitcher precisely is so hard, but... So I've brought it back even, 12 and 12. Which I'm pretty happy with because, you know, who wants to go negative? But I honestly, I should have hit a clip by now. Let's throw a few stuns trying to get get some help. Alright, that's one. Oh my god, how did he even know? I, I stunned twice. That surely should help. Never mind, alright. Let's go again with the stuns. 
Damn, Shine. Back at it again with the stuns. Oh, we are about, you know, three quarters into this game because they're at 50, well, we're at 55 now and the game ends in 20 points. So I'm just going to see how well I can end it. Obviously, it doesn't help when they've got choppers, but I'm guessing if it's the same lobby, they're going to get choppers next game when I use the control freaks as well. Uh, so it would be relatively fair test. There's no way, bro. He was pre-scoping and everything. I've not actually hit an MWR clip yet. So if there's a time to hit one, it is probably in this lobby because they don't seem too great. I just missed another Kalat headshot. Oh my gosh. This is my first game on, by the way, and I'm going four negative, so I've got a little bit of an excuse. But, you know, overall, this might prove the test. And he's got Jug on. Luckily, I still got him. Did I just miss another Kalat? Yes. Alright, quickly reload. There's four kills left. Quad kill cam. Bro, no way. Oh my god. I could have got a quad kill cam. There's still... F oh, three kills left. Alright, I, I was hoping for something, maybe the last kill, but you know, who cares. Now, I'm going to put on the control freaks, and honestly, they are so easy to put on. So, if you guys were thinking about getting them and you weren't sure, uh, first off, that's what they look like. They are super comfy, like, honestly, it's so good to hold. You just put a controller, and they just clip on, like, it's really easy, and obviously, I've got a bit of OCD, so I have to turn it around, right? And the other one, obviously, it just clips on. Vacant is probably, you know, a good map, but who knows. Okay, so they are both on right now. Uh, as you can see, this one is an extended one. I want it on the right stick because when you're sniping, that's the one you adjust how you see with. And the left one just makes it more comfortable. Alright, let's get into the game. We are playing Vacant. So let's see how we do with the control freaks. I'm going to use the exact same class. The only thing I've changed is it's now in some ugly ass <laughs> green camo. I mean, it is quite nice and it's festive. So let's get into it. These feel so nice. They're honestly just comfy to your thumbs. Like if there was any reason for you guys to buy them, it would just be because they're nice to feel. I've already died. I just need to get used to them again, because, you know, it. they do take some getting used to. But, the same guy! Our car. Oh, I need to kill him. No. I got a hit marker. Seriously? Oh my god, he's got Jug. I'll try not to pistol switch, uh, just so I can actually like properly snipe. What the hell? This is <laughs> this is not proving the test at all, is it? All right, so naught and four. That is appalling. Um, I don't think it's me. I mean, it could be. <laughs> it could be me. The head glitches. I should be able to get the head glitches. What? There was loads. I could have just hit a clip. So there we go, alright, <laughs> two and five. We've got a few kills on the board now, so hopefully I can just keep getting kills. So this is honestly, it, it feels better. I feel like I my accuracy is better. So we're six and seven at the moment. We'll just keep playing, honestly. There's another kill. Another miss, I'm not really sure how I missed. Alright, there's one. Here's where the accuracy with the head glitching comes in, when especially this spot, like you need to be very precise, so if I can, okay, he's not going to pop out, oh he's camping, <laughs> got him, so now I'm even with 9 and 9, before I was 12 and 12, so I'm not getting as many kills, but equally I'm not getting as many deaths. So, it's, it's a pretty even test right now, but I do believe that the control freaks help me play better when I've 
when I've got used to them, when I've had a couple of games, I probably should have had some practice games with my control freaks, but I just thought I'd come on and, you know, play the first games of today as a fairer test. Okay, I'm just going to chill here. I'm 11 and 11. Is anybody... There's another kill. So I'm only one negative, which isn't too bad, considering this seems like a completely worse game. Um, run. No, I'm not dying. Maybe I am. Okay, there's one. Oh, dude, it's so it's so much helpful. Like, so much help when you're trying to kill multiple enemies like at once. If you keep in quick succession like if you can quickly precisely adjust to the next person what that's not dude the jug that's not even funny oh oh my get in the bin freaking jug <laughs> all right so if you guys take one thing out of today it's that this lobby is AIDS. Oh, but I, I like. I truly believe that the reasons for getting control freaks, which can improve how you play. One, the feel. It makes it so much more comfy. Like it's a nice texture. Two, it's when you actually get in a good lobby, and like this. It is it's so nice to play with like it's very precise with this on the the extension on the right one and the domed on the left one I'm not particularly sure what like proper impact the left one has but it just feels nice um, and obviously I'm repping the MWR one so that's pretty cool as well that is probably that's gonna be the end of the video guys I hope you enjoyed Make sure if you feel if you were like sitting on the fence about whether to get these, just go for it. Honestly, these are great and I have I've not even had them long, but I already know that I'm gonna start playing better, hopefully, with these control freaks. So make sure to smash a like guys. Make sure to leave a comment, the comment of the day. Do you have any special gaming equipment such as control freaks, scuff, anything like that? Subscribe to Join Shine Nation. I'm out. I'll be <laughs>